The difference between this fight camp and every other fight camp is I've done this now almost, I think this is my third or fourth time that I prepared for this fight because I was supposed to face Misha and then for one reason or another, the fight was changed, whether it was for an injury that she experienced or she got pulled for tough. So I have the advantage of having done this multiple times. So this one is really easy just to jump right into it again. Misha is a really well-rounded fighter. She has a wrestling background. Uh, her her stand-up is good. She was able to knock out Caitlin Young in a past fight, who's really well known for her great stand-up and her kickboxing. Uh, she's also known for her grappling, a very experienced grappler. So really, she kind of ties all the pieces together, and it's going to be a great fight for me. It's going to challenge me on every level. A win over Misha does a lot for me. Uh, both of us are in a position where we've lost more fights than we should have in the UFC and we're coming up to that point where we really have to prove ourselves in the rankings. And this will help uh, solidify my position in the ranking. It'll help put me back into a spot I think that'll put me as a contender. And it's gonna do a lot for me, both just as far as establishing myself in the rankings and also putting me back into a spot where I wanna be. My ultimate goal is to be a champion. I know everybody has their different reasons for why they fight. Mine is to be the best of the best and to be the best in the world. It would be a dream come true to have that belt pulled around my waist, whether that's a 135, 125, whatever it happens to be, that would be a dream come true, it would be an amazing experience. And I don't think that once you have the belt, certainly you've arrived and you've met an expectation and a goal, but I have more than that. It's not just, oh, okay, I received the goal, cool, I'm gonna back off now. I did what I needed to do, I achieved that goal. No, now you want to defend it to prove that you really are the champion. Uh, I don't know how many wins it would take to get a title shot. I think it's a matter of who it is. It's the right opponents that are going to set you up for that win. Uh, a win over Misha will definitely put me to, back in the top rankings to verse some of the, the more experienced opponents, the ones that are in the top five. And I think once I start knocking weight all the top five, it, put me, it will put me back in a contender position for the belt. I think there are a lot of different things that really play into what it means to be a successful fighter and what it means to have that lifestyle and have that skill set and be at the top of everyone. Uh, I think one of the things is just that competitive drive. If you don't have that spirit where you're constantly pushing yourself and you have kind of like a childish nature where you want to be playful and keep pushing, then um, you're, not, you're never going to push yourself. You're not reaching for any goals. I think wanting more in life and wanting to, to better yourself is another big thing. And then it also plays back to that sibling rivalry. When my sister would smack me, I didn't just let her off the hook, I had to smack her back. And I think that plays a big role. If you're one of those, those passive people is this, oh, let it just roll off your back, then that's what you're always gonna do in life. But if you're that person that reacts right away, that's the type of person you see fighting and you see being highly successful. What makes me me? <laughs> you know, I couldn't put that in just a box. There's so many different qualities. Uh, if anything, I try and pride myself on, on not having a clear description for who I am. And that's really the biggest descriptor is you can't just place one label on me. I'm so many different things. I'm really different than all the other fighters in the UFC. If nothing else, than my background, my cultural background. Growing up in Japan, but being born in the States and then coming back here, um, a lot of people, especially being raised in Okinawa, Japan, uh, their viewpoints on the military and on, on the United States is completely different than what somebody actually growing up here has. So for me to go from uh, this passive culture into uh, a culture of action and it's all about the me and the I, it, that's a big difference and to then be successful in that type of culture, that's, that's really different than you see in most people and that has played a big role in who I am today. I'm still trying to figure out what legacy I want to leave in MMA. Um, I definitely think that I want to portray to people that they're capable of reaching any dream that they set and I want that to be my legacy is that no matter what it is, the only person that can tell you can in life is yourself. The only one that can restrict you is yourself. And as long as you push yourself, you're capable of doing anything.